a new topic that is environmental health so it's a french word and n means in and viron means circle here a person or a one individual who is surrounded by a sum of the circumstances objects or conditions that is called environment or the complex of climatic edaphic edaphic means soil based and biotic factors that act upon an organism or an ecological community so if a cli climate edaphic or bio biotic factors acts on an organism organism means an individual or a living being or an ecologic community ecologic community means a, a genus factors which uh, belong to a community ecologic community so environment is the total of the natural conditions under which animals live including climatic geographic physiographic and faunal condition all that which is external to the individual human host so whatever present external to the individual human or a person is called environment that may include some of the climatic geographic physiographic or fa faunal conditions so public health definition of the environment is all that which is external to the individual host it can be divided into physical biological social and cultural factors any or all of which can influence health status in population certain factors which is mentioned here physical biological social and cultural factor which affects the health status externally to an individual is called environment it's given by Uh, last jm that is edition in 1995 so what is the definition of the environment health by who environmental health comprises those aspects of human life or human health including quality of life that are determined by physical biological social and psychosocial factors in the environment it also refers to the theory and practice of assessing correcting controlling and preventing those factors in the environment that can potentially affect adversely the health of per present and future generation uh, so the aspect of human life including the quality of life or uh, which is determined by certain factors as mentioned like physical biological social and psychosocial factor which present in the environment it will refer to the theory and practice of assessing how you will assess it or how you will correct control and prevent the factors which will affect the health of a person okay it may affect in the present or in the future generation the so that is what environmental health means so environmental health science that is by neihs uh, charter of england it says that the study of those factors in the environment that affect human health whatever the factors which affect the human health if we study that then it is called environmental health science so factors are present like air water soil or food it is transferred to humans by inhalation ingestion or absorption and it will produce the certain adverse health effects so there are certain contributors to the environment those are uh, classified as bi physical biological and certain like that so under physical it comes air water soil housing climate geography heat light noise debris noise etc and air pollutants toxic waste and pesticides etc are negative factors even in the biological there are certain factors like virus bacteria and other microbes insects rodents animals and plants and uh, certain negative factors are disease producing agents reservoir of infection intermediate host and reservoir of infection reservoir means the host which is carrying a infection this called reservoir and social psychosocial and socio economic contributors are cultural values customs habits 
morals, religion, education, lifestyle, community health, community life, health services, social and political organization. So these are the contributors will contribute to the environment. So what are the basic requirement for the healthy environment? Those are clean air, safe and sufficient water, safe and adequate food, safe and peaceful settlements and stable global environment. What are the scopes of environmental health? In the water supplies, wastewater treatment, it, uh, the scope means where we can work if we study environmental health. So in the water supplies, wastewater treatment, waste management, vector control, prevention and control of land pollution, food hygiene and safety, air quality management, environmental radiation hazards, occupational health and safety department, environmental noise management, accommodation establishment so like this these are the certain scopes of environmental health and there are certain others like environmental impact assessments port health accidental accident prevention environmental health aspects of public recreation and tourism environmental health measures associated with epidemics emergencies disaster and migration of popula populations and establishment of an effective environmental health surveillance and information system research on environmental health issues so these are the many scopes of environmental health so what is water why we need this and what are the safe and wholesome water like so this is a topic of water and health so first of all what is safe and wholesome water it should contain these are the uh, following factors. First one, free from pathogenic agent. Any disease causing agents should not be present in this uh, water. Free from harmful chemical substances. There should not be any harmful substances, chemical substances. Pleasant to taste. That is free from color and odor. Usable for domestic purpose. So this is called safe and wholesome water. What is the water requirement of a person? For drinking purpose, it is 2 litre per person per day and domestic person, one fifth, uh, domestic purpose, 150 to 200 litre person per day. So, overall, we can take two, 7 litres or 7 buckets of water per person per, per day. So, what are the uses? As you know, domestic uses, public purpose, Industrial purpose, agriculture purpose, and hydropower production. Hydropower production means by using the water current, we can uh, produce the current. What are the sources of water? Rainwater, surface water, and groundwater. And water pollution comes as sewage, industrial and trade pollutants, agriculture pollutants, physical pollutants, and radioactive substances. So these will pollute the water. How we can purify the water? In the small scale, it's in the household level by boiling, chemical disinfection and filtration and disinfection of well by chlorination of we can tell. In second one, purification in large scale that is slow sand filter and rapid sand filter. This will be studied in later chapter. So what are the waterborne diseases? The, that is again categorized into certain levels in the viral it is viral hepatitis a hepatitis e poliomyelitis rotavirus diarrhea so this is caused by viral uh, viruses and bacteria uh, causing bond, uh, waterborne diseases certain diseases are uh, enlisted here that is typhoid paratyphoid fever bacillary dysentery cholera escherichia coli diarrhea etc and protozoal diseases are amoebiasis and giardiasis. Helminthic, roundworm disease, threadworm disease, hydiatid disease. Hydiatid disease means there will be mole formation. Snail, that will cause schistosomiasis. And cyclops will co cause guinea worm disease and fish tapeworm disease. And certain other related diseases are present like acute and chronic toxic effect of chemical pollutants, 